Yo, man, what is up with debate culture in sports on TV? Why is everybody yelling? You wouldn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, that, I mean, that's what we're supposed to do, right? You're, right. you're supposed to say something, and I'm supposed to Don't tell to me say, what I'm supposed to do. And then, and then I'm supposed to jump all over it and yell back. And, <laughs> and I think it's, 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 it is, I'm not one of these people who uh, says, like, oh, every time a, a new single comes out, that cheapens music. It was better when I was young. It wasn't. I mean, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't live under that illusion. And I also don't really go for this cheapening, you know, this coarsening of the culture. Steve Kerr said the F word on TV a couple of times last night, on live TV. I, I, so far, the, the Republic has survived. I, I, I don't think that. But I do think that this arguing all the time, and it's not limited to sports, by the right, way. It right. certainly goes in on politics. It goes on in everything. I, people just want to fight. I'm okay with it, actually. I think sports is one of the few places where we can have that outlet where we can yell a little bit, we can get a little bit rowdy, and it's totally okay. I feel like that's a necessary part of the human condition. And I feel like sometimes you get riled up. Sometimes your passions are sparked, and it's necessary to get that out of your system. I, I agree with that. And I think that one of the things I love about sports, and I think that is great about sports, is you can be so passionate about something that in the big scheme of things doesn't that's really mean nothing. anything. You know, if, if you know, the Celtics lost last night, they're going home. Yeah, people in Boston still went to work today, right. unhappily and maybe a little hungover, I don't know. But they, but I think that, that that outlet is healthy. What I don't like is when the arguing starts to drive the conversation. And I think that we have that on some of these shows. I mean, the, the, the gold standard of this thing is pardon the interruption, because then Kornheiser and Wilbon, they, they know how to do it. They know how, how deep to cut and how, you know, when to pull back. I think that now we've, we've, they have spawned this insane just back and forth for no other reason than to yell at each other. That I don't like. Yeah, I feel like as long as you're coming from an honest place, as long as that's something that really makes you feel that way, I think if it's manufactured that the audience can tell. All right, listen, Greg Moore. Bill Goodykunst. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time.